Welcome everyone to Devo's Wee Crunkles. I am that dude guilty as charged. <clears throat> Hi guys, if you've never been in here before, please hit that like button, the subscription, and then the bell. On Rumble, hit that thumbs up and the follow button. It would be greatly appreciated by all that are involved. Part three, I think it is, three of Triple B Farms and uh, uh, reviews. I hope everybody's in a 420 state of mind. I hope everybody's in a 420 mood. If you are, you're pain free. This is a part of the video that I like to ask people. Smoke them if you got them, gang. And if you don't, just breathe funny. <clears throat> wow. Okay, let's get right to this, because uh, I'm thinking that I can get all these done, maybe, <laughs> in... Uh, in two vid in a two part video, so let's let's get with it, shall we? Oh, uh, smoke them if you got them again. There we go. There we. <clears throat> Look, guys, don't be making fun of my lenses, okay? Because I'm getting old and I can't see without them. And. Uh, yeah. Okay. Woo -hoo -hoo. All right, we're going to go over this, the samples in a row that I have them from uh, two to whatever it is we need to do. But the second, number two, the num uh, sample number two. Okie dokie. <clears throat> yeah, number two. It had a sweet floral smell with red buds with dark green leaves. Piney, musky, not a musky, but a, a piney woods, bushy, bushy. Small buds, man, it had a smooth body to it. But when you, when you use this product, it is a very, very good smokable smoke not it's not a very strong smoke on the in or the out outtake it's a body and a mind high okay it's going to hit you in both areas um <clears throat> yeah it lasts about 30 30 to 60 30 minutes to an hour man and on the hang time <clears throat> that's number two or sample number two all right now we're going to go to number three here this one smelled like oranges, okay? Smelled like an old orange basket, okay, that used to harvest oranges, pick oranges, and you put them in a basket or a sack or what have you, you know, and as you're working, you bust an orange or two and they get juices on it. It lays up all summer long, and then when it's time to harvest again, you pull these sacks out and you smell that, that old orange. That's what this number three smelt of. Had crystally red buds in it, man. <clears throat> I mean, I need to get a, a uh, microscope so I can, like, uh, take pictures of some of this stuff and put it with the video. That's my next goal. All right. <clears throat> Small buds. Nice, medium, high. Okay. Um, smooth intake and all that. Uh it's heady. It's a heady type marijuana, medicine, weed, killer, hooch. Yeah, real heady. Um, the hang time on it, and it was a light body high. It wasn't a, it was more of a get you high than it was a, uh, you know, it was more of a light body high. And uh, okay, it's dead gum good. 30 to 60 minutes on the hang time. Very, very, very good medicine. Okay, now where are we at? Number five. 
Now, number five is a little tricky because Bear told me what it was because I'd been up all night and everything because I knew it was a heavy part of the Centiva. And it did the trick, man. It got me up, kept me up all day. It smelled of green and sweet, like a something old and green and sweet. Red buds, light green. The red hairs, light green, but... <clears throat> It had smaller buds in it, which, you know, hey, the bud size, man, is not, you know, I'm not judging the buds. I'm judging what they do to you, you know. And like I said before, big buds, little buds, it's like, you know, peckers. It don't matter what big, how big that sucker is. It's what what it does to you. Word. <laughs> Good smoke, though. Good smoke. Uh, that was number five. Like I said, I knew that was in Centiva. It was a tingly high. And it get me going like I was drinking coffee all day. But in the in the very beginning of using it, it knocked my balls off. <clears throat> but I put them back on. It was all right. They just went right over there. But yeah, it's, it's a Centiva heavy product. It tingled me. Medium high. What I mean by medium high is I, I felt the tingling in me. But since I kind of knew that it was a Centiva, I, you know, I didn't pay too much attention to it, but man, it's got the medicine in it too. Uh, if you can't handle an indica and you wanted a Centiva that had medicine in it, this is the one. Yeah, pretty good one. Number five. That was number five. Okay. Number six. Number six was uh, had a hint of coffee in it to me. Okay. Had a, man, I went to quit leaning on the table. It had a hint of coffee and earthy. The, the buds were green, dark green, and deep red buds. Deep red. Even when you cracked them open, they were red in there too. <clears throat> Strong smoke. Great taste. Made me yawn. Made me yawn when I used it. Um, and it gave me the zoomies afterwards. I was, man, my whole body was zooming. <clears throat> Hang time, 30 to 60 minutes, man. I've noticed a pattern in most of these herbs that uh, your hang time is really, really good. Most of the time, okay, if you buy a cheap pre-roll at a dispensary and you smoke that with a buddy, you're going to be high for about probably 20, 30 minutes. And then you ain't going to be high no more. And, it, and it's nothing to do with the dispensaries. It's just what they fill their pre-rolls in, okay? So you're not getting pure bud flour. You're getting shake, sugar leaves, um, leftover. That's what they make. There's some bud in there too. Don't get me wrong. <clears throat> but uh, you ain't going to get the zoomies from smoking a dollar pre-roll you get in a cheap bin anywhere. This is, this is high-quality medicine right here, guys. Okay, that was number six. Number six. Number seven. It also smelled of orange. <clears throat> and sweet. Light red buds. Oh, oh, oh. Small buds. Long red hair. A peppery exhale. And one heck of a, of a body high. Okay. Number seven, I kind of liked it. Good medicine smoke. You could also, even though it was a heavy indica, what I'm thinking, it was a, it's an indica heavy. It uh, relaxed me and set me down. Made me feel like somebody putting chains around my neck. You know, you just kept getting heavier and heavier. <clears throat> Number seven. Hang time. 30 to 60, baby. 30 to 60. Okay. That was number seven. We're going to do number eight and number nine. Maybe we can get them all in. Okay, number nine. This is the one I couldn't, I could not pick. Okay, I couldn't hit the smell on this. Uh, I sniffed it and sniffed it and sniffed it and I couldn't figure it out. I'm like, queen. Queen don't know, I mean, she don't know nothing about weed. Okay, she's just not a weed person. 
she don't, she's not as old as we are, guys. I know, I, I married young. But she's not in pain like we are. So she don't use. And, you know, anyway, she goes, I <laughs> snip this. Tell me, I crack it and tell me what you think. She went, You don't know what that smells like? I said, I can't, I can't, I've sniffed so many samples tonight, man. I, that had no scent to it to me. Other than it was like an old dried hay or something. And she goes, that's tea leaves. So I immediately grabbed my tea bag behind me there and I went, well, I'll be damned. That's, it smelled like old tea leaves. But then when you crack it open or you grinded it, I got a hint of some sweet in it too. Um, a, not a citrus, like a uh, like a berry, okay? Berry popped out of my head. And uh, yeah, let me tell you something. It did not taste like tea and it didn't hit like tea. It hit like THC, baby. And it was all there. I ain't kidding you. I'm still reeling about that one. Good color, man. Uh, great. And I have a little creeper in it, too. A medium sweet. I got tingly as all get up, man. Really, really, really good medicine. Okay, that's number nine. I'll be right back, and we'll finish up. Hey, for those of you who know, and for those of you who don't know, you're blessed. Oh, hi. Ah, back again. Man, I hope everybody's got them a, real, a really good something to smoke. Cheers, everyone. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, bear. <laughs> All right, y'all. Number 12. Sample number 12. I cracked that bad boy up and made it smell like I was in the middle of the woods. Naked. <clears throat> Had a hint of coffee in the back, back of it. Gorgeous blonde buds, man, light green. It was, you know, it was, it was smooth as, it was smooth, it smooth as all get up, man. I mean, it's smooth. You didn't really know you was smoking it, you know, because you don't feel like you're getting a hit because it's just not there. And then you blow it out and you go, whoa, huh, man, I did get a hit. And it had a woodsy afterbite to it. And I, I put a side note in here. My tongue is still numb as F. I remember that. Not only did it tingle everything on me, man, and my tongue tingled like I was licking cocaine, uh, licking up cocaine mirrors. Licking the mirror. <sighs> kind of felt like green crack, man. Be honest with you. It did to me. It kind of felt like there was some green crack in there. And not because it tastes like Coke or not. It was, never mind. But number 12, 45, 10, uh, 30 to 45 on the hang. Um, Centiva just, if it is a Centiva, it just didn't hang with me very long. But that's no fault of the weed. That's the way the weed is designed. Okay. That was number 12. Number 14. Number 14. Sweet, old school smell, man. Sweet, old school smell of honey and wood. Kind of. I'm thinking. I don't know. Um, had small buds in the bag. Not a problem. Dark red and mint green was the color. Inhale, spicy. No, when I say inhale, it's dry hit. No, no fire. It was spicy. The back hit after you fired was pepper. You had that peppery exit after you smoked it, you know. Tingled the body and the mind, baby. Tingled the body and the mind. Uh, 10, I started putting down 10 minutes because uh, I started trying to write down, you know, when I felt it really good and then how long it left. So, yeah, 30 to 45 on this. Actually, I put down 10 minutes. It was It hit me instantly. Crazy. <clears throat> and it had that pepper on the end of it and everything, man. So dang good medicine. Dang good medicine. <clears throat> and I've ranked every one of these one through five. I just haven't said the ranking on them yet. After I shoot this one video tomorrow, 
I'm going to go through the list again and enlist each one of them, all 15 of them. Okay, and that was 14, and the very last one is number 16. Okay, guys, number 16. Can't catch, I couldn't catch the smell on it, but it was earthy. Um, small hint of, of sweet. I mean, just, you know, I don't know if I was wanting it to have sweet smell or you know, maybe when I was eating a cinnamon bun, something fell in the box or something. I don't know. No, I'm kidding. But hint of greens with big buds, blondish red hairs on light green color. The dry hit. Now, I thought after I grinded it and I thought I hit it, that number 60, I thought I could taste banana. Now, I could be wrong, but I thought I tasted something like a banana peel or banana. And uh, very spicy. Deep, dark smoke it is very spicy to me. Two hits, body and mind. When I did two hits, I felt it that quick. In between that second hit, after the first, I felt it. Hit me real quick, man. Um, I put down here from anywhere from 10 minutes to 90 minutes is the hang time on this one. I think I like this. Oh, and another side note, I'm still numb. Oh, no, 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 I'm still high. That's what I wrote in there. Those are the 16, 1 through 16, Bear's review on the uh, the herb that he gave me to judge for him. Bear, I hope I did it close enough for you. Uh, I'm glad you gave it to me. That Like, I don't know the names of it. It was a blind thing for me, man, and I enjoyed this. I really did. Thank you, guys. Remember, be kind to one another. Look up, not down. You're blessed. Hit that like, subscribe, and follow. Rumblers, YouTubers, thank you. Peace, loving weed. And remember, if you've got some weed you want me to try, I'm brutally honest, but I'll do it. And I'll put it on, on a video. Until next time, gang, keep smoking, baby. And bye, Felicia.